a big key to their success this season. And Tyree Appleby at the controls here. The opening tap won by the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest in the 168th meeting all time. North Carolina State trying to continue their good vibes and mojo. Trying to win their sixth game in the last seven tries. And a three-pointer. And Gant tracks down the loose ball. Smith ranged from anywhere seemingly. Knocks it down. Terquavion Smith. See the way that it handles toughness in difficult situations. Monsanto drills a jumper. Appleby trying to find some space. Crossover. Three is good. Plus the foul. Tyree Appleby. Make tough shot. Look at that. Going hard off the dribble, pulling up behind the three and knocking it down. A lot of people say he reminds them a little bit of Allen Iverson, but I don't know if Allen could shoot with that kind of range, but certainly Apple. Some room for growth for sure. Well, I think one of the things they've done here at Wake is really develop players, and uh, they brought the very best out of them, and that's Coach Forbes. I think he really spends a lot of time. Hildreth. And another turnover. The second of the day so far for Wake Forest. Morcel gets a step, drives and scores with the right hand to replace Smith. One to shoot for Joyner. Can't hit. Rebound by Ross. Ross hops in and scores. Ernest Ross with the righty layup. Picked up his game. He does a lot of the dirty stuff. And I say dirty stuff. You don't call his number on a lot of plays and he's still able to produce points for you. Three from the wing is good from Andrew Carr. Wake Forest is doing a good job in their half-court defense. Monsanto, a long <laughs> three. Counter. Appleby. Elusive. Scoop layup is in. That's what you like about Appleby. He lets him play at his pace because he understands how not only to score but also get his teammates involved. A buzzer beater to beat the shot clock. These are two teams that can fill it up from deep. Near turnover but tracked down by Monsanto. He'll fire away and hit again. And Virginia capped the day. Should be another great afternoon of hoops on ACC Network and the ESPN app. Three point, or excuse me, one point lead held here by Wake Forest as Appleby in the lane makes it a three point game. Trying to play inside out. Burns. Floater, hook in. DJ Burns with four. And right now, Coach Keats has gotten the best out of him. Appleby with a lob to March. Matthew March. Getting on the score sheet for the first time. Lots of hang time. March in the Demon Deacons. Out of situations in practice, and certainly they felt he's played with that before and could handle it. Burns turns left and scores. DJ Burns, so effective. Big South player of the year in Withram before the transfer to North Carolina State is Jarkel Joyner and Ann one on the way. You can't really just go and double him. And as I say that, he turns it over. Monsanto converts. So the steal by Clinton and Monsanto with a three. He's got 11. But that's the thing about this Wake team. I mean, they can come at you with a, diff a lot of different weapons. Marcel, not to be denied at the rack. He's got four. Tying a program record set back in 1991. Hildreth, fadeaway J, count it. You know, you almost count Hildreth as a post guy. Finishes little guards because he has the ability to use his body and shoot over top of him. Second leading scorer on the team this season, averaging 13 per. DJ Burns and one as he flexes. Five seconds left. Joiner with room for three. Connects. And that closes out the first half in a positive fashion. You know, that foul by Smith has a lot of effects. And uh, so defensively, NC State's really going to have to pick it up. And as I say that. Smith. 
floater with the right hand is in. He had a strong start with a couple of threes. Hildreth trying to pick his way back towards the paint. Working against Smith, and he gets the shot to drop. Trying to get to the left once again. The rebound to Carr. Ahead of the pack. Hildreth lays it in. Smith cuts into the deficit. That was the largest lead of the game for Wake Forest before that three by Smith. Smith's into double figures with 11. This is a tough matchup for Smith against Hildreth as he backs him in. Beautiful feed to Matthew Mark. Uh, they call them rim runners. Burns, nice feed down low to Gant. Gant stuck back over to Burns who drops it in. Hildreth trying to keep it alive. Monsanto will fire and hit. Talk about his relationship with his player. Santos is a perfect example of that. Smith fouled on the jumper. Count it. And one for Terquavion Smith. Appleby. Scoop layup right hand. No good. Marsh right there with the tip. That's our guy. Done. That's our guy. No whistle. Down to four for Burns. Turnaround shot up and in. You know, that shot went in. Appleby looking for some assistance. Backdoor feed to Carr. Lays it up and in plus the foul. That was just really good basketball both ways. And sometimes leadership is not always about scoring, but getting other people involved and allowing your team to play at a pace. Burns with that shoulder shake, launches a jumper and scores. Still kept alive for Gant. He can't get it to drop. Burns and one. NC State has been relentless on the glass. Situation where the defense gets tight, that type of skill set gives you an advantage. Hildreth against Gant scores. Burns and Smith, they're doing the heavy lifting offensively for North Carolina State. Two more for DJ Burns. <laughs> problems for NC State a little bit defensively. Wake is not doing that because that's not part of what they how they play. Hildreth reverse layup is good. Cam Hildreth getting loose to add to the lead for Wake Forest. Burns banks it in. Carolina State. This Wake Forest team though is really balanced. Catch and shoot three. That's good. He wasn't trying to force anything. He got the ball to the open guy and got a basket. Burns turns left, turns right, and adds in two. Joiner with space. He hits. To open up and break down this Wake Forest defense a little bit. Joiner in double figures with 10 and a lot. The Marsh handled the penetration and nobody put a knee on Marsh so he couldn't explode. Burns adds in two more. DJ Burns with 24 points. Joiner banks it in. Jarkel Joiner cuts it to a three point game. Helping NC State if they want to close the deal here. Another lob. Grabbed by Clintman, he gets swatted by Dewana. NC State team, the way they've been able to hang tight and play and get back in this ball game. Joiner to tie it up. Jarkel Joiner has tied this game up. Burns going left, throws it up and in. DJ Burns gives the lead to North Carolina State. He's getting too deep right now on Marsh on his catches. Appleby into the lane, missed it. Carr right there with a the follow. Burns, double team. Open, Thomas three, got it. He's such a really good passer. DJ Burns. And we'll see how many open shooters continue to drift. Another bucket for Monsanto. Monsanto with 20. 
Marcel, catch and shoot. Got it. I told you, Derek. Burns kicked out a lot further now. They're just going to let him go one-on-one. -on -one. Burns throws it up and in. DJ Burns. 28 points. He's feeling himself. And look for a jump shot or a drive. Turnaround shot by Monsanto to tie it up at 73. Burns against Monsanto. The kick, the deflection, four to shoot. Smith in the lane, banks it in! Unbelievable. Appleby. Over to Monsanto to tie it, missed it! Marsh with the rebound, kept alive by Carr. Appleby can't hit from deep. A rebound grab by Jarkel Joyner. Joyner, 83%. From the line, gets the free throw to drop, and that makes it a four-point lead with 11.4 left to go. The adversity that they've had to handle here, these are the things that make championship teams and NCAA teams because you have to be able to go through the fire. Monsanto will launch a deep three. That's no good. Bouncing around, controlled by Carr. He'll fire from deep. That's good, but the game is over. North Carolina State hangs on.